got a fish on one of these. Work him slow. That's a monster. Do I want to be like a, a My Little Pony? Do I want to be a princess? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Net him. <laughs> got him. Yes. Welcome back everybody to the channel. You already know. You already know where we're at. Yep, that's right. We're at the old Walmart. And uh, me and Chris are going to get crazy. We're gonna get a little crazy. You guys suggested it. It really just depends on what we're feeling. Like, do I wanna be a superhero? Well, I've got do I two choices. Do I wanna be a fairy princess? It really just depends on what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna get in Walmart and we're gonna explain a little more of what we're doing. Well, you already know by the title what we're doing. So let's just get in Walmart. Let's get what we're gonna get and then let's hit the lake and see if we can't get some big bass on these little bitty kitty rods. I know it's been done before on YouTube, but it hasn't been done lately and you guys wanted to see it, so we're gonna do it. You ready? Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're on the fishing aisle. Come this way. We gotta go down here. We're leaving all the baits behind. This challenge has nothing to do with baits. We can literally fish anything we want. The only caveat is we gotta fish on one of these. Only the ones that are two foot long, right? Yeah, not we the combos. Yeah, we nothing like this. We we can't get like a combo that's like almost the full size rod. We we've gotta shorten it down. We need a kitty, like actual kitty pole, like what we all started with. Okay. Well, now I've got I started with the cane pole because they didn't have these back when I first started. Well, I'm sorry, Papa Rocks. We're not gonna fish with the cane pole in this video. <laughs> Look. I think we should go cut our own bamboo and make our own cane poles. Should, should we do a video where we actually fish for cane poles, like for real? But like we, like you said, go make our own cane poles. I know where a bunch of bamboo is. We could do that. But for this video, we've got to we've got to decide: do I want to be do I want to be like a, a My Little Pony? Do I want to be a princess? Do I want to do I want to go Paw Patrol? I mean, what do I want to do? And I think for me, oh man, this is a real tough one. I think what I'm going to have to do. I think I'm gonna go with, I think I gotta go with one of these. The superhero adventures, mainly because of, look at the reel. I got a nice big handle right there. So I can, you know, really crank in the big ones, you know, I feel like maybe. And this one's only 10 bucks. Like this is like also very economical. And look, I can even practice casting. See that? There you go. Maybe you should turn that into a bait and use it. New video idea. <laughs> we just called it. We gotta fish with this thing. All right, Chris, you're up. So I had an option of two rods. They don't have the one that will ultimately be for me, Captain America, because I am the All-American. So, but I am gonna go with Frozen, because I'm gonna put those fish on ice, baby. That's that's a very good one. That's I like that. I feel like they're gonna be, we're gonna really be able to fill everything with these rods. I mean, these have to be the high quality, most high quality graphite rods. Oh, it's got some real super sensitive. We're rocking a three to one or three one to one gear ratio on those things. So, I mean, we're gonna really be able to get them out of the out of the grass if two we get them. Two pounder, gonna get caught on this one. Huh? Two pounder with a jerk bait. I feel it. I'm calling it. There, he he called it first. Let's go pay for these things in a. Mondo lizard. <laughs> let's go pay for these things and go hit the lake. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are back. We're on the lake. Got Chris right there. What's up, guys? And uh, it was really cold this morning when we first started fishing, which I, I purposefully waited out the cold because I didn't want his frozen frozen rod to, to have an advantage. I felt like the character you chose for your fishing rod could potentially land you more fish. Still gonna put him on ice. I'm the frozen queen. I'm the frozen queen. Frozen queen. Well, I've got the superheroes package. Mainly Spider Man is the one that I saw, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna be shooting them all over the place. I'm gonna be casting. It's gonna be like a cast net when I throw Webs out there. Webs in the trees. Webs in the trees. That's not nice. I'm gonna, we're hopefully we're gonna get on some fish. We've got six pound line on these kitty rods, and a lot of guys stopped doing the kitty rod challenges mainly because they got they were they were everywhere for a hot minute. I haven't seen one in quite some time, uh, probably because of the whole you know forty seven thousand dollar fine by that Copa thing because you're using a child's toy or whatever. But I'm gonna say this right here in the middle of the video. This is for adults only. This is an adults only kitty rod challenge. We don't have kids fishing them. We don't have actors. We are using the kid toys, but it's a legit fishing rod. We're gonna show you that it's a legit fishing rod by bringing in some bigs today. We're gonna bring in some bigs on some little rods. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so I've got my my Spidey reel rigged up, and I'm going with a drop shot. Like, you probably already guessed that, 
six pound line the drag on this really isn't terrible chris what are you going with bud i'm going texas style texas rigged so chris you've got a texas rig a little bit a little bit of hook there red bug shad a little bit, little bit more of a red than like red bug, traditional red bug. I like it. I can dig it. So you're going curly tail. I'm going drop shot. We've got, we're sporting a whole two guides on our rods here. Nice, fast tip. Setting the hook should be a blast. I do like the pistol grip. You're right. That, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's like a three to one gear ratio. It's pretty terrible is what it is. I think I got a fish on. I do got a fish on. Hey, I got a fish, he's a little guy. Not bad, living boat, living. Woo! My spidey senses were tingling on that one. Oh my, God. look, that was actually a decent little hook set right there. Look, <laughs> go Spidey, go Spidey. Go Spidey! We get it on the Spidey reel. Come on now. All right, I'm just gonna say this. I would love to catch a bigger fish than that, but at the same time, it's a little worrisome. It was a, uh, it was something. Like it, it felt bigger than it was. You got another one. Got another one. You ain't got to get this one. I got it. Oh, he came off. He came off. He jumped and I couldn't catch up with him. You would think with a three to one gear ratio reel, you'd be able to keep up with him. Because really with a drop shot, you really don't want to move it that much. You know what I mean? Like you're just sort of dragging it and sort of giving it a little twitches. And I can't really move it that much with this. So it's, it's kind of like the perfect recipe. Oh, geez, that's a big one. That's a big one. I'm not sure he's got it very good. Net him. Just net him. Just net him. Oh, jeez. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Spawned out, little guy. Spider-Man. Missing an eye. Oh, one eye. Oh, one eye. Spawned out, skinny little fish. How long he is. I know. That... that before the spawn, that was probably a four pounder. Easily. Four pounder. I mean, look how skinny. Oh, poor girl. I mean, she probably just spawned because she didn't fight super hard, thank goodness. Look how skinny that fish is, though. One eye. Missing <laughs> an eye. This could be the same fish we caught a couple weeks ago out here that was one eye. Man, what a thin little fish. She traveled a long way if that's a one eye. I feel so bad for these fish after the spawn. They get so stressed out. Like, so stressed. We're gonna release her a little bit more gently than some of these others. I just feel bad. I mean, look how thin that fish is. Poor girl. She gonna dance? Saying, no, nope. she's just gonna turn. I'm out of here. <laughs> Came off. Told you I can't catch up with them. I can't catch up with them. If they even jump out of the water, it's so difficult. Like, you can get a hook in them, but all they have to do is swim just at you just a little bit. Dadgummit. They should make a high-speed reel. A kid's high-speed reel. Oh, that's not good. It's fish. Oh, come on, Frozen. I'm on a seat. <laughs> Got him. How about that? Elsa getting it done, baby. Catching up. I had to switch to the finesse like Brett was doing. We're going to do the whole flip. Okay. Got it. One, two, and. Oh, that was a three point landing if I ever seen one. That one. Seems like a pretty decent one. I got him and a stick. <laughs> Two for one, baby. That one's still pretty chunky. 
not totally spawned out yet. Could be a male. Nice. All right, way to go, Elsa. Fish. I think I got him pinned pretty good. Here he comes. Got him. Got him. Whew. Yeah, he was pinned pretty good. He wasn't going nowhere. Nice little guy right there on the drop shot. He's fat. He's a male. He's totally a male. He's still pretty fat. Oh, yeah. All right, let's let him go. Got him. Hey, little man, you like fishing? Right. You like fishing? You want a ride? We're done with it. We we kind of filmed, so we were filming with kids' rods. You want a ride? Come on, come get this rod and reel. Get this thing tied on. Yeah, you can practice casting. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. We ended up with five fish total. I got three on the old Spider-Man rod. Chris got two on the old Frozen 2 rod. Two, Frozen 2. We got bit several times. It's just so hard to set the hook on those things, but it's a whole lot of fun. I broke off several times. Uh, you guys requested, y'all wanted to see it, so we made it happen. And uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead, get in the comments. Tell us what you want to see. Uh, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. It, as always, it helps out the channel. And uh, we really appreciate the view. We're going to get out of here. Y'all have a good one. Catch you next time. Later.